What's going on guys, this is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create completely custom product photos for all of your products inside of your Shopify store. And we're gonna be able to set this up in just a couple of minutes. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the computer and get started. All right guys, so the tool we're going to be using is called VirtuLook, which you can get to by clicking the first link in the description or by heading to virtuelook.wondershare.com. You'll just need to create an account quickly and start a free trial. And once you go ahead and do, you'll see that there's going to be two primary things that we can do with this AI tool here. So the first one here is try on generation. So this is going to be beneficial if you have an apparel store here. So you can see here we have the original photo on the left. Then we have the result here on the right. So we can see here the background was changed. We can see here that the actual model here was AI generated. So it's providing a different scene and some enhancement for these closed products. We can take a look at some of the other examples here. We can see the background and the model was changed here. We can see it was changed here in this case as well. We can see in this case, the original photo was a mannequin and it was edited over here to be an actual human model instead of a mannequin. So we can see that's something else you can do as well. And we have another example right here. And the other thing we can do here is actually edit the backgrounds of our product photos. So if you're selling other types of products that aren't apparel, you can have the background edited here. So we can take a look at some examples. We have this handbag here with a blank background essentially that has been edited into this more eye-catching background here we have this background which has been adjusted from this over here to this right here which is a little bit more flashy we have this couch that was sitting here with essentially a blank canvas and it was edited over here to where it is now sitting in a living room so in this final picture here we can see it's a little bit more in its natural setting so what this tool is going to allow you to do is going to allow you to add a little bit more uniqueness to your product photos. So whether you're drop shipping using generic photos or whether you have your own custom products, but you've only taken basic photos, this is going to allow you to get a lot more variety and customization with your photos without having to hire like a professional photography team and spend a lot of hours taking a bunch of different photos here. So we're gonna walk through quickly how you can use both of these different tools. So we'll start out here with the try on generation. So if I click on this here, you can test out the tool with any of these examples here, or you can go ahead and upload your own photo. So in this case, I'll just show you how it works with one of these example photos right here. So once we click on this example photo, it's going to go ahead and segment it for us really quick. So we're going to wait for this to load up. So we can see now we have this photo here of the original picture and the tool has segmented it into different sections. So what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the area that we want to keep. So we can see here, if we hover over it, we have different areas right here. So let's say we were to keep the pants and the shirt right here. So this would mean that this would be kept in the new photo and everything else would be generated so in this case the background would be generated and the model would be changed if we wanted to keep this model but we wanted to just generate a new background we would select the entire model right here so in this case i'll just do that and then i'm gonna click on ok and then we have our template editor here so there's two different options that you can do first off we can choose how many photos we want generated here and then we can choose the scale, so we'll stick to original. You can choose a base color that you wanna use for the background. You have different types of environments you can choose as the background as well, so like yacht, tennis court, street, etc. And there's different types of interior backgrounds we can look at, nature, etc. And there's going to be more templates releasing over time. Now, if you don't want to use any of these preset templates, you can come over here to custom editing so this is going to be similar to if you've used any of the new AI tools out like ChatGPT, et cetera. This is where you can just go ahead and type in a prompt that is going to describe what's going to happen in the background. So we can see here, I wanna see my product worn by and then these details are already filled in based on the image we uploaded. And then you can just type in an input prompt here. So in this example, I'm gonna just go ahead and go with a template here and I'm gonna scroll down I'm going to go ahead and choose a street as the urban background 
and I'm just going to click on generate. So once they've generated, you can go ahead and go through and look through the different ones to see which ones you like the best. We can see here that we changed the background from a blank background to a city backdrop here, and we have these four different ones to choose from, and we could go ahead and generate more if we wanted to as well. And with these types of AI tools, a lot of times you're going to be doing a decent amount of trial and error to normally find and come up with the exact one that you want. And you can also use the custom input prompt here if you want as well. Now, when it comes to using the custom prompt, you're going to have to have a pretty good idea of what you want already going into it. So in so one tip for getting ideas for what to actually put in here is you can look up other stores or other products or other brands that are selling similar products to you and you can try and see what they are using for their product photos and then you can try and implement similar backdrops and aesthetics for your product photos. And if you find one here that you like, you could just come down here and click on download and then use that photo. So that's how we can use the trial generation. Now let's take a look at product photo generation here. So in this example, instead of using a demo one, I'll upload my own. So I'm going to upload a picture here and we're going to wait for it to load in. So in this case, we're going to be using this example sunscreen product here. So we can see this sunscreen here is on a blank background. And what I want to do is actually give it a background. So I'm going to select the sunscreen products right here and click OK. So in this case, for a sunscreen product, we can make the background a beach. And I can go ahead and generate that now. So now we can see we have four generations here of a product of our product with the beach in the background. So let's say if I were to like open these up, we can take a look at them a little closer. And we can see that this looks a little bit more enticing and flashy than the standard white background. So this could be a good product photo here to use. And you could select which one of these you like and click on download. So for example, out of these four, I'd probably go with this one right here. Let me quickly show you what it would look like if you were to use the custom text. So let's say we had this product on a beach, but let's say we want it to be in front of like a pool or a different setting. So I could type in something custom like, so I'll type in in front of a pool on a bright sunny day, superb quality, and we'll generate and we'll see what the results are. And we can see that it gives us four options right here. And we can see that one thing you'll notice is when you're using the custom editing text prompt is you're going to have to do a little bit more trial and error and be very specific here. So we can see we only really have two that are showing a pool right here. So if you're going to be using the custom text prompts, you're going to have to expect to use a little bit more of trial and error and try to be as specific as possible. So once you've gone through here and generated as many examples as you want for your product, you can choose your favorite ones and download them and you'll be good to go. So overall, this is a cool tool that you can use to spice up your product photos a bit on your store so you're not using the same old generic white backgrounds all the time or you're at least adding your product in different settings. So it's a cool way that you can get some better, more unique product photos done in just a couple of minutes without having to go out there and do a professional photo shoot. So that said, if you do want to try out Virtue Look, be sure to click the first link in the description down below. And with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in another one.